Good morning, we're on the sand and we're gonna try to sight fish some Corbina today. Um, I'm all rigged up with a quarter ounce Carolina rig with a size eight owner mosquito and six pound test. And uh, right now we're just gonna harvest some sand crabs and uh, hopefully we can find some Corbina. The water's warming up and things are looking really, really good for the rest of the summer, hopefully. So, um, let's see if we can get these guys. I'm gonna talk you through what I'm doing here. Let's go find some sand crabs. All right, I always say uh, when you're looking for sand crabs, uh, near rocks and jetties are a good place to start. So I'm gonna start right here. Um, this is actually dry sand if you look right in front of me, but I know sand crabs are here. So the water's still been running over a little bit, but it's more or less exposed. Um, but um, I think there's gonna be some big, big sand crabs here. And it just makes for really easy targeting. So you can see, um, you can see them their little uh, antenna sticking out of the water and uh, they look like V's when the water is running past. So if I just take a little scoop like that, look at all these crabs. So many. Um, so many. So just remember that the limit is 50 per day um, in California. You don't want to take more than 50. But there are just so many sand crabs here. And the sand here is super soft, so um, it's excellent. But we're just gonna pick up the ones that we want. So I like harvesting the bigger size crabs, um, as well as the smaller ones. Because sometimes I like to pin one big one, and other times I like to pin two or three small ones. Uh, just to vary the presentation. All right, so we're good here. Probably about 25, maybe 30 or so. Maybe a little more, but we're good to go. Let's go find some Corbina. So the water looks beautiful. Um, it's gonna suck out to, I think like a one, not quite a zero today. It's real calm plenty of time between each set that comes in and if you see where the white where the water is breaking it's not crashing right into my visibility zone it's rolling straight in and it's clear right as it passes through it really allows for better visibility and even as I was walking to make bait I saw two Corbina cruising around and the hope is that we'll see a lot more I think we will but we probably have another hour or so as the water continues to suck out and at that point, I think it's gonna be the max window um, to see and target these guys. So we're just gonna do some walking and some recon work to try to see if we can find pods of them. You know, we wanna see four or five of them dancing around in the same area. And uh, hopefully that'll be the case today. All right, so I'm stopped right here. I guess there's a pair cruising the skinny water right here. Um, I'm hoping that the quarter ounce will be suffice. I really don't know. I haven't spooked them yet. They're just cruising, but they're coming up pretty high. So we're going to pop on a couple of sand crabs and dance. Let's make it happen. We'll start off with the single. I'm going to come into the shade here and hide. Now the way the water is moving here is a little bit less than ideal, but it's also a reason why they're cruising here. Kind of opportunity for churned up bait I can still see like so much better than uh, the previous two weeks in terms of the way the water's lined up and you know sight fishing Corbina is very very condition specific and that's you know part of the challenge of having consistent success is being able to come out when the conditions are right and so um, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled here Getting a little too conservative in my approach right now. I need to get a little closer to them. Oh my gosh, there are five, five Corbina in this zone, guys. Holy, holy moly, there's five at least swimming around right here. So we're gonna write, we're gonna stay here in the shadows. Corbina will pick up your shadow um, in the light. We're gonna stay in the shadow. And uh, this is, uh, this is, wow. So we don't want to spook them. That's the worst thing we can do because uh, there's so many of them swimming around here right now. And when they're schooled up like this, my goodness, 
I'm just hoping I don't screw it up. That's the only thing that's going to keep me from catching one today is a screwing it up. Fish on. Yes, sir. That was, I think, my second or third cast. And just goes to show you um, how many there are here. Because usually, sometimes I'll be chasing them for. Woo! Sometimes I'll be chasing them for all day. It's a pretty decent one. He's shaking around like crazy. I'm 0 for 5 so far, guys. So I'm really hoping I can beach this guy. So we're going to nurse him a little bit. <clears throat> I have six pound test. He's shaking his head every which way trying to shake this hook right now, guys. So 0 for 5 this year. And this will be my first one of the year if I can get him in. There he goes. Walk with them. I gotta tire him out a little bit. So I don't want to pop or break off here. The challenge is on light gear, getting these guys beached. Um, a lot of times you'll be fighting them right here and you don't want to force them like I've been doing this season. And hopefully lesson learned if I can get this guy beached. Man, these guys are such good fighters. He's tired and just about ready. Need one more push here. There he is, guys. First Corbina. Um, got him hooked right there, right on the lip, and he was able to stay buttoned. And uh, let's put a tape on him, and get him back in the water. 20 and a half solid solid fish all right guys first corbina sight fished six pound test and just got him in the skinny water there was like five or six at least swimming around and uh you know just tossed him the second or third cast and he bit so we're gonna try to get some more today it's super early it's rare for me to get him this fast so let's have a try to have a multi corbina day let's get this guy back in the water so big. that's a good size huh yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some more. <laughs> oh, got him, guys. Oh, my gosh. Number two. Oh, come on. 